Nancy today. I just love talking to you guys. It makes me smile. You know, I was kind of just regular. And then I thought about it. I'm talking to the camera, and so now I'm smiling. It's good. Well, there was this really beautiful lake. Oh, by the way, we're on the way to the temple, so I have four hours to be in the car. So you're not going to get to see the whole trip because that would use up all my batteries. You see, that's the only reason you're not going to see the whole trip every 10 minute increments. Wouldn't that be fun? Yeah. Right. Well, look at what we have here. <clears throat> we have a rainy day, <clears throat> but we have the most beautiful scenery. We just passed that wonderful lake, and I was going to show you the lake because it was so pretty. I have to sit up better. Mm, there we go. I pull my chair up. You won't have to see my cloth there. I, you know how, you know how when you're driving along and the sun is in the car, I mean shining, and it reflects on your dashboard, and then it makes a reflection up on the window. I don't know if that bothers you, but that bothers me a lot. I have to be able to see, because it's so pretty outside, and why would I want to look at a reflection? So what I did, is when I was in Jordan, see, I used to be a travel writer. When I was in Jordan, there was a, a man in a Jeep that gave us a ride, and he had he had a piece of cloth, a fabric, over his dashboard, and had all these tassels hanging off it. It was really pretty cloth. It was kind of... Um, that word for thick cloth. It's kind of quilted. It was really pretty, but it was black. And so I knew that that would keep from having um, a reflection. So see what I've done? Now, of course, someone who has time and in interest would have cut it perfectly, and my friend Dee, who sews, she would have cut it perfectly and sewn it along the edge and everything. But this has got, I've got double-sided tape underneath it back up there. You mean fly paper? Not, not fly paper, Willem. Oh, okay. That, that would work, though. Thank you. <laughs> would it matter? Why is he flashing his lights? Maybe he's a police car up there. What are we doing? We're not going fast. Not anymore. That was flashing his lights. I bet there's a police car waiting over the edge waiting to reach out and touch someone, and that someone could be us. You know, we have this new law in Ontario that if you're going 50 kilometers an hour over the speed limit, they will take away your license and your car. Your car. Your car. You walk from there. Bye. And Good luck. And, and $10,000 fine. So when you get to a little sign that says 50 kilometers an hour, which means, what does 50 mean? 50 is... 30. So, oh, here's one that says 70 begins. So when you get to one of them, you can't just go flying through at the regular speed. No, 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 because they will reach out and touch someone, and you'll be walking in the rain. So it's amazing how a real little law like that can just influence you. I mean, I was one that would just kind of go right through. See, here we have the the polices, but there's nobody in that car. He's got the car on, the windshield wipers flash, er, but nobody in it. They just want to trick us. Hey, you're not slowing down. I know it. Well, how is this? I don't want to walk. <laughs> oh well. So let's see what I can show you. I have to make sure I don't go over my 10 minute limit. Now there's a really nice little pond right over here. I'm going to show you out the window. you got to look quick because it's not going to be there long. See? One day I'm going to bring my kayak and I'm going to go kayaking down there. But you know some of these lakes you have a really hard time getting down to. Or the ponds you have to... I don't want to come with my kayak crashing down. See now there's no water down in there. I don't want to come crashing down the hill with my kayak behind me, banging into my legs. You've been in those grocery stores where there's little children and they've got these little miniature grocery carts? Isn't that the scariest thing? You never want to be in front of one of them. <laughs> those are called ankle biters. Or is it children that are called ankle biters? I don't know. Whatever. I missed it. Okay, well, I'm sort of out of things to tell you, except that it's pretty. Now, some of you...
of you probably live in prettier places. And then some of you probably don't. Look, there's another lake down there. Somebody wants to get wet in the rain. See these rocks? Aren't those rocks beautiful? One time I came along and I stopped and took millions of pictures of the rock cliffs. Every time there were good rocks. And then I went home, I, I printed out those pictures and I tried to paint them. I practiced painting rocks. I'm not very good at painting rocks, but I'm working on it. One day I'll be able to just paint a rock and it'll look like a rock. See, there's more rocks. beaver dam, well it was, it had been pulled up and laid on the side of the road, and so there are all these beaver sticks. Wow, look at how pretty that would be to paint. Isn't that gorgeous? The distant hill with the light color, the rock face, and the trees above the rock. I'll tell you about it in another video because I'm out of time. Goodbye, this is Nancy today, driving along, enjoying the view.